What is email marketing? Email marketing for beginners? In this video, I'm gonna show you three secrets that gurus don't want you to know because simply they want you to buy their course. I'm also gonna show you how to turn your email into a money-making machine. And I'm also going to show you two tricks that will ensure your delivery rate and improve it by 80% that nobody knows about. And as usual, there is no plugin in this video to buy a course. I'm not selling you any course. This is totally free. This is something that you can do. I have done it for 12 years. All I ask in return is a courtesy, which is subscribe, drop a like, and make sure to share this video. Mark Daniels here and I want to welcome you to this fantastic training about what is email marketing. Of course, this is what is email marketing for beginners as well. And not only for beginners, there's a lot of people who are making mistakes. Things are just not working out for them for a reason or another because they are watching some maybe YouTube videos that not really going through the stuff that I'm going to go through in this video this is going to be an epic step by step in order for you to succeed believe it or not i'm going to prove to you in this video that email marketing is the best and the cheapest and if you don't do it right it's very difficult for you to succeed so i'm going to take you step by step and the best way to do it is through this and what i'm talking about is step by step as far as the steps that must be done in order for you to succeed obviously we're talking about what is email marketing now there are three things i'm going to go over and each one has other things that are important as well you got to understand that email marketing determines your success i'm going to prove to you that it is if you pay attention to this and you go through the whole thing you'll find out that this have not been taught to you you have no idea that these things exist what you should do what you shouldn't do and i'm also going to give you the tricks that i promised you about how to make sure that your email is delivered to your prospects there are some tricks for that a lot of people don't know anything about it okay let's move on to number one and the most important thing is to understand what is email marketing some people have it wrong some people have it right but i'm not going to take a chance on that so let's go ahead and define it for you using what is email marketing is simply using automated emails to send advertisement request business or solicit sales and anything in between it doesn't have to be there but this is the major thing that you should understand now how is that done it's done by email autoresponder software these are companies in or entities that have a software for you to use word of cautions and i'm gonna cover it here but you have to understand it and put it really grinded in your head is that not all autoresponders are the same and i'm gonna prove that to you and show you some proof as well in case you are wondering about how does this thing work in case there are some people understand how things work some people don't but I, i'm just not going to take a chance just come i'm going to go ahead and tell you exactly what it needs to be understood now you've probably seen something similar to this or you have it let's say you have this and you are collecting emails now this is a simple process let's say you are giving away something in in order for them to receive it they have to provide you with the email address in the autoresponder of course we are using auto render email autoresponder so what happens it goes into your email responder and there is a section inside your email autoresponder that house these emails depending on what you are selling for example you can have a, a tag 
for example, or think of it as a bucket for people that are interested in, let's say, vitamins, okay? And then you have another one or a list that people interested in losing weight. Think about it this way. So what happens after that? Now, it's automated and it should be automated, obviously, because this is how you save a lot of time. Well, after they opt in, they receive a welcome email, follow-up email, and so forth. And the idea is a conversion. Now, don't worry too much about this because I do have and I will leave in the description videos that will help you from A to Z. But right now, I'm going, going through the principles first because it must be understood. Now, how does that work? For example, how the whole thing works I'm going to go ahead and show you. I'm going to show you this right here. I'm going to demonstrate it for you. And after you understand it, you should have a very good idea how things work as far as autoresponder. Some people email me about using their Gmail account as an autoresponder. I know there are some plugins and what have you for that. Do not do that. Do not do that. Don't. Stay away from that. There is a reason why autoresponders software exist. And there are some good ones and bad ones. If you use Gmail, good luck. <laughs> Nothing is going to be as smooth as you want them to be. So let's go ahead and go over that here uh, with you. So the idea is to cover basically from here to here what happens. So I'm going to do just a, a little bit of demonstration for you. Obviously, if you want an email, you have to provide something in return. We call that as a lead magnet or lead magnet strategy. You get in traffic from somewhere. One of the videos that I'm going to leave for you is how to get the traffic because without the traffic, you need a fast traffic. It doesn't matter if you have a product or not. So Udemy is the best one. And I think I do have a coupon in the description as well. So start as soon as possible. All right, let's go ahead and move on. So you provide in the gift, and the gift could be something like an ebook a training, some kind of training, a webinar, or a course. Now you wonder where do I get all these from? Well, you can get them. I'm not going to go through that because they are in the description area I cover from A to Z. So make sure you uh, you go through that so you'll understand where you get all these things for free people are opting in when they opt in they opt in into a section you'll have a section here inside your squeeze page for example and then it tells them it'll, it'll show them exactly where to put this email address so after that the email address go to work so what happened is that when the email address comes in here let's say from solo leads what happens it goes into the list or the tag that you already have now of course you should have some email already pre-written again i have a section in the description as far as training about what to put in these and how does that work now what happens when somebody comes in you can make your first email go in automatically and it does that and then the rest will go as well automatically without you doing anything at all now number four now we understand how things work so far as far as from here from one to three let's go to number four and email distribution now you have to understand about the email distribution one of them we already talked about it which is automated emails obviously these emails that i mentioned to you for this email go out automatically so it's automated there are two types of distribution the other one is a broadcast broadcast what does that mean it falls under two things and make sure you're not getting confused with that because broadcast is basically you are broadcasting to everybody or to mass list do not mix all your list together do not send broadcast to everybody inside your email autoresponder you want to pick a segment for example you have a product or promotion about a sub niche so you do the promotional make sure you're not overdoing it because if you overdo it it'll become problem you get a lot of spam complaints again we're talking about here just to want to make sure that this is the first aspect of it this is how this will determine your success 
okay can you succeed without email marketing let's find out and take a look at the statistics let's go ahead and just make this a little bit bigger here and go in here and look at it this is done by optin monster this is statistics based on research here's it says and i want you to understand it very very well because if you do then you'll know exactly the mindset that you should have people when they wake up the first thing we're talking about email versus social media first check of the day in other words, when somebody wakes up, what do they do first? What do they check first? Only 5% check the news. 20% they do some kind of research. And then 3% they check their company internet. And then 14% they go to social media. Now, 58% check their email. Now, you do, that's almost 60%. So, email, if you understand that email automation and email marketing is the number one and it's the least expensive thing and the least complicated one if you know how to do it right and i'm going to show you how to do it right let's go ahead and take a look at number three social media versus email marketing again this is from optin monster let's go ahead and take a look a, a little bit here to find that email versus social media engagement that means you are engaging in something 58 percent point 58 percent they engage in social media 22.86 email open rate in other words they open their email 22 percent compare that with 0.58 and then click through rate email click through rate at 3.71 uh, these are just like basically i get a lot higher than that but these are just like the averages that they got in their surveys and their research 3.7 that means they click on something inside your email that you sent to them go and take a look at number three i just want you to understand this and this is very very crucial maybe i should have put it in red and put some other stuff on it but there are two types of email marketing and you need to understand these two types number one there are affiliate email marketing affiliate email marketing is totally different a lot of people fail in affiliate marketing because they they don't understand that and nobody talks about it because a lot of people on youtube they make youtube videos they don't know what they're talking about i was going to say sorry they don't if you're going to put some information out there make sure that you are putting the right information for people and not telling the people something that you don't know about or don't mention it this is very important this is the one of the biggest problems that affiliate marketers fail because of this so if you want to start affiliate marketing and i encourage you so because you don't have to create a product you can just promote other people's product of course i covered it in a description as well must have correct autoresponder software and i'm going to prove to you here in just a little bit and i'm going to show you some examples not all email autoresponders are the same please understand this this is so crucial to you and i'm going to show you here in just a little bit a lot of people fail but they just don't know why they don't know why they are failing number two is they are autoresponders unfriendly to affiliates and i'm going to show you some examples here there are three here i'm going to talk about mailchimp here just a little bit okay a lot of people they like mail chimp a lot of them they just go in there blindly and they open an account and so forth and they get excited and then later on they find out that things are not working very well i'm going to show you why so if you go to uh, mailchimp and you go under prohibited content right here and then you take a look at it it says affiliate marketing now sometimes you might not get caught the first time second time third time first week second week third week fourth maybe one month and then you get banned and they close your account without any notice you can't even access it at all so just make sure you understand this all right let's go ahead and move on here just a little bit and take a look about the second one now active campaign let's go ahead and talk about active campaign i'm talking about these are just like not the only ones i just want to make you to understand that these are just examples that i'm giving you 
So I'm just trying to show you there are some problems with some of the marketing that maybe some of you are actually practicing and wondering why things are not working. So let's go ahead and go to active campaign here. And if you take a look about uh, right here, uh, content uh, content and industry subject to additional scrutiny but uh, above it it says prohibited content okay so uh, one of them is affiliate marketing so want to make sure that you do that as a matter of fact i tested this and it was affiliate marketing i actually did that just to want to make sure that it does work well they closed the account uh, just because i want to tested before I give you any information out here I did that and they flagged it after a week or so not right away and then they closed the account down so we talked about MailChimp we talked about active campaign another form of autoresponder is called drip which is also an autoresponder so let's go ahead and take a look at drip here real quick and it says here a drip rules prohibited on drip okay and then you scroll down here to 3.2 and then you find out that affiliate marketing okay so even with drip affiliate marketing is frowned on prohibited and they have the right at their discretion to close any account they seem not according to their rules or policies that you might not actually see or maybe buried somewhere so understand this if you're an affiliate marketing you need to have an affiliate email marketing autoresponder that is friendly to affiliate marketing otherwise things are not really going to work out and i'm going to talk about that here in just a little bit and let you know which one that you should use and the other category that I want to talk about is that non-affiliate email marketing. Now, th there are some danger in that as well because a lot of people are, maybe you don't know, you're watching YouTube channels, you think everybody uh, know exactly what they're talking about. A lot of times I find that blind is leading the blind. So you need to understand this very well. Read their policy. Why am I saying that? Let's go ahead and take a look. The, so, because... A lot of times it's not straightforward. Sometimes you can find it under prohibited content. Sometimes you can find it under acceptable use policy. And sometimes you can find it under the terms of service, just like uh, uh, MailChimp. Now, let's take a look. Let's take another look here. Why am I saying non affiliate email marketing? hey everything should be fine well not really i'm going to go ahead and show you if you go to uh, a drip for example let's go back and go to drip here and if you take a look it says even real estate <laughs> even real estate so if you are in a real estate business you're in jeopardy if you are using a drip autoresponder so some of them have different stuff uh for example i think uh, active campaign they have pills drugs uh they're not talking about illegal drugs obviously they're talking like diet pills and things like that and uh, at the end it says uh, other products or content so what they're saying here is what they're saying right here if you read it that they can decide to do anything they want to uh, you have no control over it so make sure you understand that so you'll be able to know exactly what to do now what i'm going to do i'm going to give you some secrets here of what to do before i give you uh, which one that you should use i'm going to uh, give you some idea about how to ensure that your email get delivered so these are like uh, email delivery tricks a lot of people don't know much about it none of the videos that you watch probably don't have no clue about it so i'm going to go ahead and reveal that to you of course free of charge all i want you to do is subscribe drop a like make sure you share the video because when you share the video that means it tells me how many people are sharing the videos and if you are sharing the videos i can make more videos for you all right, let's go ahead and go to number two, uh, to number uh, three here, uh, section one. The first thing when you send in, this is a good 
a good good trick that you should do all the time there's an algorithm inside the email for example gmail what happens is that if you open a new account okay and people don't know much about you gmail has no clue microsoft or whatever you want to call the one that you use in have nothing first thing the first email that you want to send out should have a question and the question is ask the question that requires a response from the prospect why is that because when they email you back gmail and other services know that this is not a an actual spam that person is communicating with you and writing something to you because they think if it's a, a spam they'll mark it as a spam or they delete it or something like that so the first one that you send out it doesn't matter what it is if you are in a it doesn't matter what industry if you are in a health industry for example lost weight tell them what is the biggest challenge that you have losing weight i'm going to send you free stuff they tell you oh this is the biggest challenge i have and you can send them something that will help them you don't don't try to sell them in the first email okay because what happens your algorithm right now is acceptable there's no complaints you're just asking a question so what happens is very simple email provider mark your email as non-spam email i'm not saying that this is going to be across the board but this is how it works because they said oh okay there's communication here that person opened the email the second thing what happened is that they responded to the email okay this is very 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 important number two a now you're going to have some companies and most companies have this almost all of them they do have some templates i'm talking about email templates do not use them if you want your email especially if you are new to the industry if you want your email to be delivered if you are not walmart or amazon or something like that do not use these you're small because when you are sending this here's what's going to happen number one html email providers don't like that and then what happens it'll end up where in the spam box whether you like it or not it goes to the either spam box or promotional uh, area so or what they do is they don't deliver it at all because they have no history about you and they think that you are trying to do something that not you're not supposed to do so don't do that at all the second thing that you need to do is because of these what happens is that people think about it and they think it's a commercial well guess what most people don't like to be sold they don't like commercial because it looks like a commercial it is written like a commercial do not do that so the best thing that you need to do is deliver it in a very plain text all autoresponder have a plain text and do that just have a plain text and send the stuff as a plain text because not a whole lot of scrutiny about it. a lot of times you probably wonder and you see that you open an email and then they block all the images and you have to click on okay show me the images or i want to see the images it's okay why there's a reason behind it and the reason is that there are some people that they put malicious malware inside or inside their email html because it's much easier than plain text plain text is uh, nearly impossible to do that you cannot hide it i'm gonna put in the description area three emails that we have tested and they are friendly toward affiliate marketers so they are friendly for everybody if they are friendly for affiliate marketing it's they're friendly for everybody else so these are the one that you should use we cannot check every single one there's thousands of them so we check three i'm gonna go ahead and put them in the description area then if you want me to know if you want to know what is my favorite one and you want a demonstration let me know because everybody likes something different but for the sake of this video i'm gonna go ahead and put all three of them and they're all free to start and i get a lot of questions from people saying okay oh no i, I don't want to start email marketing i don't want to spend money on autoresponder if this is the issue with you you should not start at all because it's not going to work 
you have to have a really good autoresponder. And autoresponders nowadays are the cheapest types of email that you can ever have. So don't think that you are trying to save money. You cannot be cheap on your way or in your journey to success. There is no way you're going to be successful. I hate to tell you this, but this is the truth. So again, if you want to know which one is my favorite one and you want me to tell you exactly why it is and give you a demonstration about it, let me know in the comment area below so I can make a video for it and show you why I like it. I like it. I like it because it does a whole lot of things much easier, much faster and similar autoresponder to it cost hundreds of dollars per month so let me know in the comment area below so i can make a video for you if you want to know more about affiliate marketing click here if you want to know more about affiliate email marketing click here as usual i'll see you at the top